welcome back to the Grace and Andrew Yang show. So, unfortunately, Andrew had a bedtime. A bedtime? Who told him to go to bed? I think his mom did, facts. And, yeah, Andrew is a 20-year-old teenager with a bedtime. Can you believe it? Man, I uh, I feel sorry for him. I kind of do, too. But anyway, let's go back to our discussion about these speaking of mother, Speaking of mothers, where's your mother, little girl? You're not Shyla May. You're far too young looking to be Shyla May. I am Shyla Grace. Okay. Shyla, Shyla Grace, it, My, it, no, it's maybe her daughter. No, I am Shyla Grace. I you look so young. Strangers, remember? It, it must be, you must have gotten some fresh Botox. Yes, I did. I can't believe it. And they are if I didn't know better. wonders for me. You know, I'm totally pro-surgery. I think that everybody should go and get surgery, especially if you are over the age of 60. Go right ahead. Is that a, is that a, is that a, an invitation? Yes, facts. I mean, you are 92 <laughs> after all, so. Mm, that's true. That's true. I wouldn't mind looking like I was in my 80s again. So you may have something there. Yep. So, facts. I keep hearing you describe these colleges uh, as resorts. So yes, they are. What was the campus that you were uh, stuck in at? Like, was it fancy and stuff? It wasn't fancy, but it was. Uh, it does. It definitely felt like babysitting a little bit. So they it's had a like a daycare center, you know. Did did the school try to make you purchase a meal plan so they can make sure that you were eating on campus? Yes, they did, and uh, you could. They had eating passports, and uh, you couldn't uh, go into class unless you. Uh, showed your passport that showed that you'd eaten breakfast that morning. What? So they're very, uh, very careful of their product. Why would they do that? I, I guess the same reason uh, industrial farms make sure that their, uh, their cows and chickens are not, are not harmed. In so any you're way. saying facts that you, like you and all your fellow students, are nothing but livestock for these colleges. Yes, I am saying that. You know, speaking about that, I have a very good friend of mine who returned to his college campus uh, one semester after being told that his scholarships were being reduced because the school was running out of money uh, because of the pandemic, you know, COVID, you know, you know what COVID is, right? Facts. Uh, yeah, I've heard about it. So anyway, because of that event, his scholarships were being reduced because the school was not making enough money or so they claim. So anyway, the school, uh, he came back to campus, all right, and right then and there, they were building some fancy new basketball stadium smack dab in the middle of the campus. Like, can you believe that? I'm, I'm shocked. I'm yeah. shocked. I've never heard of a college acting in any way that wasn't completely honest and above board. 
It, this sounds like a conspiracy theory to me. Well, you know, Shocked. on one hand, like, you know, they, they told him, my friend, that they didn't have enough money to keep extending his scholarships. But at the same time, you know, uh, they have enough money to build the basketball stadium that they, I don't think they need. In fact, um, I asked around because, you know, I mean, I like to get to the bottom of the truth. That's what we do on the Grace show. Okay, Charlotte Grace, my show. And I found out that they were only doing that because this, uh, in that spring, they're in double C C A A or whatever uh, basketball team looked into the finals of some national basketball championship March uh, madness thing. And suddenly, out of nowhere, they decided that they were now a basketball-oriented school. You should have joined the basketball team. I don't do sports facts, okay? It's bad for your heart. Oh, well, you could just pretend. Maybe as a cheerleader, but I don't do yeah. none of that stupid, you know, sweat thing that they you know a lot of people sweat when you do sports so that's the well, that, yeah, that's right. true your botox would probably leak out if you did that so yeah you're right if you got your botox in tijuana maybe but anyway i guess that's where all that tuition money went okay because this school was charging them like over 30 grand a semester and that's after the scholarship? Uh, I believe so. That is... Uh, that's criminal, uh, right? That's borderline criminal, don't you think? In my day, we called that highway robbery. I see you agree with me. Yes, I do. I definitely agree with you. Okay. Now, I mean, and, you know, at the same time, when I went to that school, I, you know, being me, I asked around, okay? I, apparently, I was told by some of the basketball players on that team that helped to make them to the, you know, finals of that tournament that none of them were getting paid, That's uh, that. That's not giving back to the community, is it? No, it's not. It's not even giving back to your own community. That's right. So, I have to wonder because I do know that the school made a lot of revenue off of making it to the finals of these uh, silly little championship basketball games. And so, where do you think all that money is going to, Fax? Uh, probably to a uh, freaking fund for, for all the various college CEOs around the world. No, Fax. You're not supposed to say that. Oh. I know, but I'm 92. I don't have long to live anyway. You know that lots and lots of people are definitely afraid of the truth. Oh, okay. So, All right. It's not true then. So going back to sports, did your school dabble in these little sports competitions where nobody actually makes it professionally? Yes, we did. The school I went to was the national shuffleboard champion of 1979, 80, and 81. And not a single player became a professional. As you would think with all the cruise ships that were so popular in the 80s, one of those young men would find a decent living, but no. 
So th they didn't even get hired to be on Royal Caribbean. That's right. Because Royal Caribbean hires their own their own special shuffle boarders that I think they I think they just get one of the uh, customers to be the uh, to be the the coach for their shuffleboard games. Cause I, I mean, first of all, facts. Uh, what in the hell is shuffleboarding? Okay, it sounds like some sex activity. You know, it it it's not really. I guess it could be, but. It's sort of like chess, except uh, uh, the chess board is a lot bigger. I have, n I still um, have no idea what you're talking about, but it, it, instead of pawns, you have live people, and they shuffle from one square to the other. Okay. Um, very popular on cruise ships. Well, the next time I do go on a cruise, I'll keep an eye out for that. But anyway. Well, I'm, you, I'm sure you would take one of those singles only cruises. So uh, yeah. I don't even know if they have shuffleboard for those. I do because when I'm on vacation, facts, I don't like people trying to take my pictures. Right, right. Now, do you think that it was a waste to have your parents' money go towards funding these little pit projects? I definitely do. I wanted them to give me the money instead, but uh, they they fell for the uh, they fell for the mythology and insisted that I go to school. You mean your parents did? Yes, that's right. That's if I could only speak to them now, I would tell them, aren't you sorry? Aren't I you do. sorry you spent all that money so, that you could have used for more pleasurable things? When they were all alive. Right. So they were victimized as much as I was. I am very sorry to hear about that uh, facts as well as all their losses and, you know, their loss. Cause I, I, I'm assume, sorry, you know, you're... I can't talk about that. Huh? Let's not go there. I can't talk about it. I'm it's sorry, dear. I thought that you wanted to talk about how much your parents have lost in the time that they were alive. But you know what? I completely understand. Some people don't want to talk about their deceased loved ones and don't feel like talking about them. So let's talk more about college. Let's do that because, you know, whenever I feel like crying, I start to laugh. I start to cover it up. I'm so sorry, Shyla Grace May. But, yeah, let's go on. Let's go on. Now, during COVID... I had another friend of mine who went to some prestigious, uh, what you might call it, a uh, Ivy Branch Olive Branch School or whatever that I won't bother to name. So, get this: uh, apparently, they registered to live on the campus, right? Because the school said that uh, they were originally going to have in-person classes in the middle of a pandemic. So then, one week after all the children moved into their dorms, you know, having paid everything, signed all the contracts and all that stuff, uh, the school announces that they will be taking everything online. And so, now all the children are stuck in their dorms attending online school. So it's right. almost like they could have done online school at home the whole time and save on that dorm money because they for sure weren't getting refunds from the school. Mm -hmm. That's right. I mean, what did you think about that? 
I, I think there'll be a lot of happy lawyers. Yeah, because that sounds like a well thought out, probably the best thought out uh, robbery plan I've ever heard of in my life. Yeah, I agree. And also, according to my friend, uh, they were not even allowed to come home for Thanksgiving. Because the school tried to keep everyone imprisoned on the campus so that they could contain the virus. Right. So what if, you know, they had the virus on campus? And everyone died? Well, I mean, I assume that if you're trying to contain something inside the campus and somebody, let's say, a few people get the virus already and have it in the campus and they're not allowed to leave, then what do you think is going to happen? It sounds like a... Uh, uh... A pressure cooker. A pressure cooker of illness and despair. Yeah, because like, my friend told me that they were not allowed to leave. The, did anyone try to leave? Um, I, I don't know. He didn't say. I, I don't think he could say. Uh, I wonder if anybody just left. Um, at least one person must have. I, I don't but you, know facts, but knowing the law, this almost sounds like false imprisonment, don't you think? Fox imprisonment? False. Oh, false. Sorry. I was going to say, I mean, I'm sure it's not right to imprison foxes either. I just want to make that clear. But, yeah, I would say it's false imprisonment, and hopefully there will be a class action lawsuit. Uh, you mean nation nationally, right? Like nationally? National. Yeah, against all the colleges that did this policy. And... You know, I mean, even if you were to say, okay, so you wanted to contain COVID, so why couldn't they just have set up a, a COVID testing site like all these high schools in around, you know, who are doing it for free without taking boatloads of tuition money from students? That's right. I mean, if they wanted to leave, then just get tested on, you know, they should have a testing site provided on these campuses and maybe if somebody wanted to leave and just wanted to be safe, you know, like what they're trying to preach about, then they could go tested, you know, get tested. And maybe if the test comes back negative, then they can go home and never return. Careful, Shiloh May, that you're making sense. That's not allowed. Well, luckily, it's allowed on my show. Oh, no, I'm afraid that's hate speech. Sorry, <laughs> your hate is no home here. Sorry. So, we have some fan questions, facts, that we need to finish up from last time because oh, uh, Andrew man. got carried away to, you know, be. Do you think he's asleep yet? I'm sorry, what was that? Do you think he's asleep yet? We know he's in bed, but do you think he went to sleep right away? Well, his, uh, he works the third shift. Oh, okay. On the weekdays. Okay. So you're, he's sleeping on the job? I don't know. I would. Yeah, why not? If you can get away with it, do it. They, call, they don't call it the graveyard shift for nothing. Really? You've never heard that phrase? No, I didn't. 
Well, See, facts, you, I don't, you know, I watch quality television, okay? So, apart from SpongeBob, I don't know much else. Oh, okay. Well, sponges live in the bottom of the sea where it's always night anyway, so they wouldn't know the difference anyway. Okay, so um, anyway, going to the fan questions here. Uh, okay. A user named Carmilla wanted to know, um, let's say... How much was your tuition, Fax? Um, I, if you have to ask, you can't afford it. I'm feeling like she's asking like how much, like she wants an exact amount, Fax. Um, my memory's not that good. But I I know I, like how much was it? Was it like a, you know, one cent or was it like a million dollars? It was enough that I had to give up luxuries. Like what? Uh, you know, sundries, chewing gum, sneakers. I I couldn't afford anything because all the money went to the school. So you couldn't even afford to go to the strip club? That's right. Oh, my God. I had to use my imagination. That's terrible, Fox. Yeah, it's bad. And I, I bet other men on campus were probably feeling that way, too. Or, you know, they, women as well, because women go to strip clubs, too. Well, you know, if they were if they were as humane humane as they claim, they would have a strip club on campus for the well, use of the that makes you really happy. Uh, it would have been a a uh, a pressure valve for the campus society. It would have been a tension buster, definitely. Well, I'm sure that's not the only thing that's going to get busted if they did that. Well, that's true, but you can't think of everything. If you know what I mean. I do. So, I did go to college, you know. A uh, user named Slack off Stucco. What's up with these names, facts, right? He wanted to know uh, were the college classes boring? Were they boring? Mm -hmm. Uh, yes. They usually just copied something out of the book. We our textbook onto the blackboard with no explanation. So it was a little redundant. Uh, yeah. Uh, couldn't you have just sat at home and read a textbook? Exactly. And what did you learn? Not that I can recall. Okay, so um, another user by the name of Doge, I think. All these people are afraid to use their real names. That's sad. Well, there are fans, fast, so we got to be nice. What, what kind of stranglehold does the college industry have on people? That they're afraid to use their real names. Uh, obviously, because they're afraid of the truth getting out. Oh, that's right. I forgot. We, we talked about that. 
So a user by the name of Lara Perez wanted to know, did you learn anything while you were in college? A user with a real name? Uh, I mean, Ooh. I'll say it. Things are changing already. Wonderful. Yeah, so I mean, it's, 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 this question is kind of similar to what um, you we just went over, but uh, I guess you're oh, asking what? if you learned anything during your entire time at college. Uh, I learned that to get to the uh, dining hall for breakfast early before the grits got hard and cold. What are you talking about? Well, you know, you know, you know, grits. I, I, I'm, I'm sure you grew up with grits, Sheila May. No, I didn't. And my name is Shyla Rice. Oh, sorry, sorry, Shyla. I don't look so angry. My goodness. But I, growing up in Georgia, I'm sure you or your donkey or your pets had grits every day and uh they're they're sort of like they're sort of like the the southern version of oatmeal and and if you let it sit too long it gets turgid and and lumpy and so i always came early so it would be nice and hot and smooth so i learned that pretty quickly Without going to class, I may add. That Do was a free... go potty as well. Potty? Yeah. What do you mean? Well, I mean, <laughs> you're living on your own. Oh right, right. Um, yeah, I learned as I went along. So, so they did teach you potty training. Uh, not really. They just showed us where it was. Oh. Left us on our own. Left us to figure it out. Okay. Sometimes the students had to help each other out. Basically, if you couldn't copy it from a textbook and write it on the blackboard, they couldn't really teach you, teach it to us. Uh, so. <laughs> these teachers, these incompetent fools? Yes, they are. Were. Okay, so uh, we got one last fan question from a user okay. who simply named Sam. And he wants to know was going to college worth it? No. I, I would only recommend it to people who uh, are on probation and need uh, uh, extreme structure in their life. I mean, after everything that we discussed in this episode, I think it's pretty obvious to anybody that going to college is just, uh, I mean, why would you do that to yourselves? I think that people just don't love themselves enough. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Okay, people you're gonna put yourself through um, four years, okay, to uh, basically pulling your hair out and doing a bunch of stupid shit you don't give a damn about, okay? And I'm talking about homework and uh, exams. I, I mean. <laughs> I think they do it because the rest of their life they'll be so happy they're not there anymore. So yeah, they but do why it. Why would you want to invite that shit? Um, punishment. They feel ashamed of themselves for their sins. That's the only thing I can think of. I was concentrating on how not to go to class when I went. <laughs> As everybody should have been, who was unfortunate enough to make that decision to go to college. That's right. 
So, anyway, uh, with that, I guess we're out of time. But thank you to Fast for a great interview. And Thanks to all the fans. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for all of our dear fans for contributing your wonderful questions. And we just love answering them on our show. Yes, I'm sure they feel the same way, Gracie. Thank you, Fax. That's sweet of you. If only Andrew uh, didn't have to work so much, uh, we would be doing more of these episodes. That's right. That's right. Tell him to quit his job. I will, because honestly, I mean, working at UPS, uh, for all of you who don't know, Andrew actually has his own business. Oh, that's right. And yet, um, he was telling me the other day, okay, this is just between us, like you, you know, the fans and us, but um, Andrew said that he apparently plans to go back to college in the fall. Even though he was kicked out. Oh, wow. And that don't make a lick of sense, doesn't it? We'll play him this interview. Maybe we can talk him out of it. Yeah, because, like, you know, he already owns his own business. Why the hell do you need to go to college? Exactly. <laughs> you know, they don't say mind your own business for no reason. Mm-hmm. But anyway... Tune in to the next episode of the Grace and Andrew Yang Show by subscribing to Starry Network, the exclusive host of our show. Goodbye. Bye.